Without good models and the right tools to interpret them, data scientists risk making decisions based on hidden biases, spurious correlations, and false generalizations. This has led to a rallying cry for model interpretability. But what sort of things should an interpretable machine learning system support? Consider a real estate model that predicts the price of a house given its features. We should be able to ask questions like, why does this house cost that much? We could also ask, what's the difference between two similar houses? We can also ask what if questions. For example, what if I added an extra bedroom to this house? What would that do to its price? We could also ask, what are similar houses to the one I'm looking at right now? Or, what sort of houses does it usually get right, and which ones does it usually get wrong? And lastly, what feature does the model think is most important for making a prediction? Through an iterative design process working with expert machine learning practitioners and researchers, we gathered and grouped questions like these and distilled them into explainable machine learning interface capabilities. These include local instance explanations, explanation comparisons, asking counterfactuals, finding nearest neighbors, identifying regions of error, and computing feature importance. With these capabilities, we designed and developed an interactive visual analytics system called Gamut to probe into model interpretability. Gamut uses a sophisticated model class called Generalized Additive Models, or GANs for short, that combine high accuracy with a simple, intelligible structure. With that same housing model in mind, let's consider house 550 that's predicted to cost $190,000. This house has a number of features that the model uses to predict. With Gamut, we can see the breakdown of how each feature contributes to the final prediction. Housing features are on the bottom x-axis, and the cumulative sum of the prediction is on the y-axis. Using Gamut, we can also compare multiple instances. These two houses have roughly the same predicted price, but for different reasons. Using Gamut, we can spot where these two houses differ. Let's focus on the middle difference. In Gamut, users can hover over any feature to see the exact value and how it affects the final prediction. Here we see House 550 has an overall quality of 8, which adds about $22,000 to its prediction, whereas House 798 has an overall quality of 6, which subtracts about $14,000 from its prediction. Instead of looking at just two houses, let's see the effect that the feature overall quality has on the entire model. Here we see a global explanation for this feature. We see having an overall quality less than 7 hurts your prediction, and having one greater than 7 helps it. In Gamut, you can look at explanations like these for any feature of the model. In the Gamut user interface, there are four main coordinated views. The first is the feature sidebar, accessible by clicking the menu button in the top left, that shows an ordered list of all the features of the model and the impact they have on the predictions. Next is the shape curve view, that shows feature-level global explanations for every feature in the model and how they impact predictions. You can remove and add as many as you'd like, hide the data histograms underneath in the zero line as well. Next is the instance explanation view. This view shows local instance explanations and supports brushing and linking for details on demand. Both instance explanations are normalized for better comparison and their values also show up in the shape curve view to see local explanations with global context. The last view is the interactive table at the bottom. Rows are different data points of the data set, and the columns are the different features. Brushing over a row updates its instance view for quick comparison and easy exploration. The interactive table also supports filtering, sorting, and computing nearest neighbors to find similar instances. Using Gamut as a design probe, we performed an in-lab user study to understand how data scientists use interpretability to answer questions about models and predictions. We selected 12 professional data scientists at a large technology company and invited them to use Gamut on a variety of different data sets. For this study, we had three main research questions. Why do data scientists need model interpretability and how do they use it? Do data scientists prefer global or local explanations? And what is the role of interactivity for model exploration and understanding? Our investigation showed that interpretability is not a monolithic concept. Data scientists have different reasons to interpret models and tailor explanations for specific audiences, oftentimes balancing competing concerns of simplicity and completeness. Check out the paper for more details and results.